A large workshop was destroyed by fire around 9 this morning. It sent a large black plume of smoke into the air and shut down Jasmine Street in West Medford. I was working on my motor home, getting ready for vacation. I heard the boom and looked up and there was a big white plume of smoke. Brian Kubley ran down the hill to his neighbor's house to see if he could help. Uh, the shop, back shop's where the fire was and it was burning pretty heavy, but the back door was unlocked. I was worried he was in there, so I opened the door, but smoke was just way bad. Kubley says he didn't see anyone inside. Fire trucks weren't here yet, so grabbed the garden hose, but didn't help a whole lot. The fire trucks got there just a few minutes later. Medford Fire Chief Dave Beerweller says they immediately faced a problem. This was a bit challenging because uh, there are no hydrants in the immediate vicinity of this house, so we use what are uh, rolling hydrants or water tenders that carry 2,000 gallons of water. More than two dozen firefighters attacked the flames. We were able to confine it to that building and keep it away from the house. There was no one home at the time. Fire investigators determined that the fire was started by a homemade propane meat smoker, which was left lit and unattended. Chief Beerweiler also wanted to remind everyone that smoke from fires like this one can be extremely toxic. So even if you're a bystander at a fire, if it gets to uh, where it's smoky where you are, you need to move to a clear location. Investigators say the fire caused about $40,000 in damages.